What's up guys, it's your boy Matt Traptor, also known as Nuke Satos Patella, and welcome to another part of my Disney Stars and Action Game HD revamp walkthrough series. As you can hear from my voice, I have moved to a different location. I am in Finland to be specific, it is part of my study program, but nevertheless I want to start off 2015 with a bang, we're going to do another part of this game, and the level that we're, uh, that we're going to play is going to be one of those levels that changes the tone of the game. It's gonna be quite dark, and it's not gonna be happy deppy days, well, except for one or two more levels, but no. We're gonna go and fight one of the protagonists of um, the movie Tarzan. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, as you can see, the first five levels we have done 100%, which means a 38% completion rate over the entire game, but we're only at level number six. So let's get to it. And we start off with a bang! Yes, we are already fighting one of the protagonists, Sabor. Because why? Why? I don't know, the game wants us to. So there are a couple of things to explain. First off, the HP bar on the right is, of course, of Sabor's. Uh, we have a spare. We can do two types of attacks. I'm using the mostly the long-range stab attack. You can also use a shorter stab attack. And basically, when you jump, he or she, whatever, will also jump. And the patterns are pretty much the same. It's kind of an easy fight so far. And I think that is really all that there is to it so far. Let's do this again. A bit late with jumping there, but it's still okie dokie. Hitbox is a bit glitchy. I'm not saying that it's... It's totally broken, but I mean, eh, even a tiny little jump, you won't get hit by Sabor, so whatever. Anyways, oh Christ, <laughs> this should be bananas, yeah. Anyways, uh, the tone of the game has gone on quite dark, as you can see from the background. It's probably somewhere around nighttime. The music, epic, in my opinion. I'm also using it for my uh, outro videos, if you recognize it. And... Yeah, it's just, it's not any more Mr. Nice Guy in this game. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, Tarzan gets, it, it begins quite cheerful and whatever, but, you know, as he, it just gets a bit badass at the end. I mean, there are some moments in Tarzan which I did not understand as a child, and now I do. And it actually was quite of a shock. <laughs> but it's okay, though. Now, what I want to say is that, look at this, there are many... I mean, seriously, I cannot count them all. How many birds are in, the, in this level? A lot of them. And they're always at jumps like these. Because if you time it wrong, you get a lot of damage. And it's easy to get a lot of damage. You see there? I just dodged it, but ugh. It is very easy in this level to die. But not because of whatever. It's because of things like this. Don't worry, I'm going to get all the coins soon. But I just wanted to get rid of this enemy because... Just because. I wanted to have some clearance. I need to get some field control. Also, this hitbox of jumping on this rhino is broken. Beyond belief. I don't know what's up with it, but it is broken. I get so much damage in this part, usually, that it really... Like... Look at this! Usually get so much damage, it is really hard for me to get, like, the final couple coins. Like, uh, I screwed up there. And I still need to get down one coin. And usually this takes me a lot and a lot a lot of time. And it's frustrating as hell. Especially when he turns, I have to like reallocate the position where I can jump. Thankfully, this worked out. <sighs> Actually, this was the most difficult part of the level, I think. Uh, because there are more jumping sections like this. But I think I've done the worst. Yeah, I think I'm actually through the hard part. Never say never, but eh. So far, I'm pretty confident. There should be an enemy throwing rocks or something. Alright, got rid of that. Then there's another one just chilling somewhere around there. Let's just wait for him to fall into the trap. And there we get our knife. So yeah, the knife is actually in a hidden place. Because you don't not... You, you, it, it's not necessary to have the knife. Now you're probably thinking like, okay, Sabo is not dead. If you don't pick up the knife, you're pretty screwed, right? Actually, no. You will see soon. Let's go and get these coins and some bananas, because really, 
there's so much damage that I can take in this level, and I and I really want to make sure that I don't die because that looks so unprofessional if I do die. All right, bit of field control. The third letter should be down here. Excellent. A couple more coins, two more coins, and I have a hundred. Let's assess the situation here. Alrighty. That's pretty cool. Extra fruit. Oh, I just got onto that. That was a risky jump. But hey, if you want all the coins and all the collectibles, you gotta take some risks sometimes. There you go. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello there. Not today. <laughs> let's see, is there any more? I can hear frogs somewhere. Oh, hello. Yeah, screw you. Alrighty. Another nasty jump. Look at this. Ow! That was stupid. Thank God for bananas. Oh boy. I actually don't need to kill them, do I? No, I don't really need... Oh, Christ, you again. Come on. Uh. Oh, come on, how did you miss? Oh, I still got damage. And now, look at this. This, I think, is one of the most nastiest situation that you can ever think of. Look at this bird. Now, you're probably thinking, can you just throw fruit at it? No, nope, it's invincible. Even with special fruit, I've tried it. It's it. He is invincible. So he's just simply there to annoy you. It's one of those enemies in the games. And look, there are two of them. And if you swing just a little bit, then yes, you can get damage. And these things hurt. Like, seriously. So you really gotta time your jumps, or not well, jumps, but your swings in order to get all the coins in here. Like, seriously, take your time. Because, remember, if you want to swing to the left, you actually have to build up momentum from the right. You see? Like that. So, either way, you have to check both sides uh, before you swing. Anyways, but I've done that. Let's just easily crawl our way down. And... Turn around and try to make the second jump. You gotta wait for it until they're both up. There we go. Seriously, that is nasty. Seriously nasty. Uh, lots of activity going on here. Okay. And kill you as well. Excellent. Another jumping section, this time without a rhino. Seriously. Go. We're making some good progress. Again, climbing section. Expect a lot of birds flying by like this. Holy shenanigans. Seriously though, so many birds. Come on, we can make it. No, we cannot make it. Too bad, but they're still bananas. Uh, save point. And I think this is the second battle. Yes. This is the second battle with Sabo. And look, you got your spear back magically. How did that happen? Oh, and there's also a bird in the arena right now. <sighs> Frustrating as hell. Because if you want to jump, it's not Sabo who will give you damage, potentially. But also that stupid bird. Like, seriously. You can also actually try to stab Sabo, like, directly without jumping. It's a bit more risky though, I don't really recommend it, because I'm gonna try and play it safe. Uh, that bird is still coming down, good, good, good. Another question may be, can you go to the other side of the arena and actually flee the battle? I don't think you can, because the game will probably not allow it. I've actually never tried it, but, you know, I think that would actually... I don't know, I don't think it will actually do anything. I think you just fixed to stay there. Ready? That bird is coming down. I stab Sabor again, but he's still not dead. And you lose your spear yet again. I'm really frustrated about that, though. It's not about Sabor not dying. It's about you don't get your spare. I mean, come on. <laughs> why does it always break? And why does it magically reappear? I don't get it. Somebody has to tell me. Come on. You gotta die. <sighs> oh. Alright, there should be a swine coming my way. There you go. Good, good, good. And there's someone throwing the projectiles. I cannot avoid that one. But that 
It's okay though, I don't have too much damage. And this is one of the best 3D features I think of the game so far, like you see this? I find this intimidating as a child, like, oh, shit, he's still out there, he's looking for me, he's hunting. Like, I thought this was one of the best moments so far, um, using the 3D feature that the game tries to advertise itself with. I think this is one of the better features, like having foreground and background paths. That's pretty cool. Let's see, another drop. Some more frogs that will annoy me, but I'm just gonna ignore you. There you go. And again, look at this. Uh. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta be careful. Can I turn around? Actually, no, I just gotta swing for it. That's the last piece of the sketch. So that means that we can do the bonus level soon. Yeah, and you see this, like, this is something you either have to know about or it's almost unavoidable. I am not sure, but really, ah, this is so nasty. Just gotta wait for it to come down so I can do a swing, get some more coins. Then I have to wait because I have to get this coin as well because I want to finish this 100%. And now I gotta wait for it crawl down. I could rush, but I'm not going to, because I know if I do that, things will go badly wrong for me. Because nah, I'm kind of low on health. Excellent. There you go. And what would be best to do? Actually, it would be best to go down here first. Get myself the mango. Not the, I always wanted to say pineapple again, and I think I caught myself saying it a couple of times in earlier parts again. I know it's a mango. It's not a pineapple. Now you're probably thinking, did you just screw yourself over by not by first going down instead of up? No, look at this. I can actually get back here. Gaming knowledge. <laughs> again, more birds. Gotta be careful. Every nasty little jump that I want to do to get the collectibles. I just swear this game that I'm trying to like get everything in there. The birds are really trying to stop me. This is risky, but I'm gonna do it. And then there should be another jumping section with a rhino. Anytime now. Hello! Alright, that's bananas. I could grab them, but who knows. Wait, did I just get all the coins already? Did I? Whoa, I guess I did. Sweet. <laughs> Never had, had, had done it this smoothly. Alright, but I think, yeah, we've already done that, so, well, whatever. I don't care which path I choose to go to backtrack. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I jump over this. Excellent, then I have to climb back up, but beware of the birds. Like, seriously. <sighs> Close call here. Okay, let's see, what else is there? There should be another rhino section. Here it is. Easier one, because there is more, would you say? You, you have more, um, I don't know the word in English, but whatever, you, you have more blah blah blah, you can actually see where the coins are, that's pretty much what I tried to say, you have more oversight, or whatever the word is. 100%, nice, which means, if I just check my status, yep, got all the letters, got all the sketches, got all the coins, which means there's only one thing left to do, it's the final battle. Here we go, magic spare and stab, because that's how I start every fight. <laughs> and again, stupid bird. Come on, man, don't be shy. Seriously, though, but I have to wait before I can jump, otherwise I get damage. Alrighty. Did I die once, actually, by getting hit by the bird in my earlier part? I am not sure, but I... I do think I had a pretty stupid death. Let's make sure that doesn't happen this part. Come on, five years later? I should know how to play this game. <laughs> then again. Two more stabs, I think, and it's done. Should I try a direct stab? Yep, that was stupid. Yeah, look at that. That's like the panic mode. Seriously, this is. I'm just trying to show this, like. Direct stab is hard to do, and if you do miss, then Saber will get apeshit. Look at the amount of damage it did. So that's why I'm just trying to play it safe and doing it this way. So yeah. 
You could say that I failed, but it's also good for the educational purpose to show you what happens if you fail. But with this, we have completed the level. So yes, all the letters, all the sketches, all the coins, 100%, 100%. I'm gonna go and save it up and I'll see you at the bonus level. Another jungle cruise bonus level, this time with another character. And this looks like a very uncomfortable impact on the water with the lily pad. <laughs> it really looks painful. I'm not sure why this looks... Oh my god, really. <sighs> that would hurt. Anyways. <sighs> this level, if you don't really rush, you can actually get out of time. And I'm hoping that I can show you the entirety of this level. I'm hoping so. Because sometimes I fail and then I lose time and then I cannot actually get to the end. Which I think is a pretty bad sign. I really want to make sure that I get to the end go this takes up so much time here we go extra time boost uh, we're at the end I think yep alrighty so with that we have completed the sixth level of the game and for those who know from five years ago level seven was also one of those levels that I did not complete a hundred percent in my original run so if I manage next time to get this 100%, this means that there is a very good possibility I might actually complete this game 100%. And this will be the first time in my life actually that I will, that I will achieve this. So hopefully I'll manage. Um, maybe you have to do a lot of practicing because level 7 is again a pretty short but chaotic one. But we'll see. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching, of course. Like and favorite if you like the content. Subscribe to our channel, Rake You Free, for more upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.